Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a lineup. So you can go from this to this. You will always want to start at the middle of a lineup. Making this line straight is essential. Start in the middle and work your way to the left and the right. Make sure you are being careful not to push back the hairline too much. Take a little amount at a time. Never push hard or drag down the liners. If your liners are sharp, you can make cuts that could create scabs later. Take your time, make sure you're at a comfortable level with the person and are able to look down on them slightly. A good way to check your line is to have the person tilt their head slightly. This will show you if you're going too far back on one side. After you have done the first line across the forehead, take a step back and look at that line in the mirror. Make sure your client's head is straight and the line is straight. If this line is not straight, the whole lineup will be crooked. It's okay to go back and adjust slightly. Next, work on the sides of the lineup. The trick here is to keep your lines vertical. Remember, any slight turn of this vertical line has to be matched on the other side. So if you go in at an aggressive angle for the first side, you must apply that to the other. Everyone has different hairlines. If the client's natural hairline is at a slant, go back to the mirror and see what the difference is in the client's hairline is. You may not need to adjust the sides much. For this client, I am doing a complete 90 degree angle. Now to the other side. Once again, before I continue, I am looking in the mirror. I am looking to see if they are similar or what is off. I am measuring with my hands if the sides end at the same point and also how far in the eyebrow the line goes to see if I need to push one side further over or not. If you need to, you can use a ruler or a comb with measurements to see where you are with the lengths of the lineup. You want to know where that line is ending on their eyebrow. Of course, everyone's face is not symmetrical. Facial structures can be uneven for each side. We are using these measurements to help us see where we have been unbalanced in the lineup. Once those seem even, we will move on to the sideburns. Even though this client doesn't have much hair, I am being very gentle and with light pressure. I am making his sideburns tapered. Once again, take a step back and check your points. The top line, how far down the second line goes, and if the same straight 90 degrees is on both sides. Also, where the sideburns end. It's okay to look at the line from different angles and to look away for a minute, but the most important outcome is the head-on look. Thank you guys so much for watching.